On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Lizard Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. What is going on guys and welcome to another episode of the on drop rate series. We are actually going back to the wilderness just like the last video I did on Revenant Dragons in this one as well and we're going to be killing Elder Chaos Druids. Bit of a weird one maybe, they do not really have the most interesting drop table, but they do have the Elder Chaos hood, robe and top. These are worth like 250 to 500k each, and they have a drop rate 1 in 1419. And the specific item we're going for is the Elder Chaos robe. So the bottoms, the least expensive one. And these actually have a good drop rate of hard clue scrolls. If you use a Ring of Wealth imbued, the drop rate of a hard clue scroll from these is 1 in 64. So we're going to be killing these and getting probably a lot of hard clue scrolls. Complete them, add everything together, see if we win or lose the challenge. Let's go ahead and uh, get geared. Now in the last video we had a giveaway, so we're going to be rolling that right now. We have 899 entries, you can see that right here. And the giveaway was 46.2 million. So let's see who is going to be the winner of this giveaway. The winner is Sam Walker. That was a big drop. The drop was the Crofts bow, which is uh, extremely lucky. And his uh, RZN is Careful Sam. So congratulations to you for winning 46.2 million. And of course, as always, here's me trading the 46.2 million giveaway to Careful Sam. Hope you will enjoy that money and buy some nice upgrades. Now hear me out, this is a bit wild and I know that I am like a really bad PKer, but uh, I kind of bought a PKing setup for AGS swap and a heavy ballista because maybe some people are not super good geared who attack me at the Chaos Druids and I would love to try to like anti-PK and even if I die I don't risk that much. I don't really risk my cannon so if I place that and I have protect from item on we can actually have a look at, because I don't have to be scalded this time, like the Revenant Caves, I only risk 1 million. That's not that bad, and I think most of it, honestly, is in the cannonball, so it's, nah, it's not that bad if I die. Alright, so this is the spot right here, if I can actually put the cannonballs in the cannon right there. There we go, now I can pretty much just AFK, and every time I get a hard clue scroll, I will teleport out and do it. And that is pretty much the entire grind. If I do get attacked here, it's only 13 Wilderness. So if I get teleblocked, even with this food, I should be kind of okay. Yay, there's the first hard clue skill. That took me six kills, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I feel like these trips are going to get interrupted quite a lot by these clue scrolls, but I don't mind. Okay, it's done. Uh, this takes the cake. I have never been as jebated as I just got. Look at this. I was like, why is this not working? Bro, what is this? Well, this is an unforeseen and pretty awkward challenge. I can't reload my cannon. I'm sure I will be able to in the future, but uh, I just can't click it. I'm just getting spam teleported the entire time by these mages. Maybe I have too many of them on me or something, but uh, <laughs> hopefully when there's fewer of them, I can actually reload it because... Otherwise, this is going to be a challenge. I'm going to probably get carpal tunnel from clicking on my cannon so much. Now, I really wanted to actually find PKers here because just killing these and doing the hard clues is not too good content. So PKing would be a bit more fun. But unfortunately, as you will see in a second here, there is a PKer and he is too low level. There is actually quite a lot of PKers that come here, but they're all very low level and in like the 70, 80 range and they can't attack me. So we will have to see if I will even encounter someone that can attack me, but hopefully that is the case. So we actually just hit 500 kills and it's actually been a while because you can see on the loot right now on the screen I got 9 hard clue scrolls. There was one I could actually not do because it uh, required me to do one of the new quests, Land of the Goblins. I've not got to doing that yet but uh, it takes a while to get these 500 kills because I have to go and re-gear everything for the clue scrolls. 
But uh, otherwise, there would be like no loot for this. So you can see 700k besides the clue scrolls. Oh, we actually get an item. Elder Chaos Top. It's 550k. I think actually the most expensive one out of all of them. And you saw that collection log pop up. All of these items, the Elder Chaos items, are actually on the collection log. So even if that is not the item I was hunting for, I would like to get them all in the future for just the collection log. Oh my god, Elder Chaos Hood. That is not the item I want, but actually a very good item to get for the collection log. Now I've got everything except the item I want, so if I do end up getting it and winning the challenge, that is actually a green collection log, so actually not bad at all. So this is what it's looking like right now. I only need the robe bottoms and two out of three, so this is definitely a pretty easy one to complete, but would be nice to complete it in this run, because honestly, this is not the most fun activity to do. Oh, oh, that's the wrong one. Add me a bit of a heart attack there. Elder Chaos Top, 500k. I mean, it's the most expensive one, so we're actually making some money at least. But uh, yes, I still need the robe bottoms for both the challenge and the collection log. There has been an update, and they actually just put in the max hit splats. Oh, you can see one there from the cannon. They look a bit different. Hopefully I can get one from the crafts bow as well. They're like orange hit splats that look a bit different if you actually manage to get your max hit. I think with the crafts bow without praying, it should be like 30. Oh, there we go. 36 right there. And if I'm praying, I should be able to hit like over 40s. But I think that's a very nice additional mechanic to put into the game. I guess for PKers especially, so you know what your max hit is more clearly. And other things like that without having to go to the dummy in your house. And also very nice in PK situations where you would like AGS someone, you see the red splat, like the extra orange around it. Would look very nice. Well, we are coming up on uh, 1000 KC now, and we have actually encountered zero PKers. And that is actually saddening me, because when I did Venonatis or when I did Revenants, I was running from them every time, getting annoyed. But this grind, I, it's not a very risky situation I'm in, I'm not Scald or anything like that, so I don't really mind it. And I kind of wanted to try to counter PK, but uh, seems like that is not happening in this video unless in the last 400 kills here I actually encounter someone, but I have barely seen anyone. This might be common knowledge, but I actually had no idea. I got some additional challenge scrolls right here, and if you have a hard clue screen in your inventory, you can't pick them up. But if I drop this one, I can pick them up. And I've actually completed the step already on my hard clue scroll, so... I don't know, maybe I can put these challenge scrolls in the bank and they might stay there as like a placeholder or something. Because now I have three of them and they are the same one, all of them. The question is, can I actually bank them? Yes, I can. Very nice. I'm just going to keep them here as a placeholder, I guess. Because I don't think this is going to block me from being able to get more hard clue scrolls because it's not the same ID. But that's pretty neat. It is looking pretty grim for me winning this challenge. We have 1,319 KC now, which means 100 left. And the loot I've got so far is on the screen right now. A lot of Raynars and the two Elder Tops, which is most of that money. And 3.3 million almost from 1,300 of them is like 2.5k GP per kill. So if you're going to be doing this yourself, don't expect a lot of money. I do have to say I am actually very disappointed that in the entire grind I did not encounter a single PKer I could actually have a fight with. Normally this would be great, but uh, for the Elder Chaos Druids, the PKing here is the only activity you really have. And this is the last one, and we did not get the robe bottoms we were hunting for, which means I did lose the challenge. Now you might have seen there, it said 27 hard clue scrolls. If I can actually teleport away now, I'll just do with the glory. I'm getting like spam TP'd. I cannot complete all the hard clue scrolls. I need to do some questing in the future. I could only do uh, 24 of them. Let's do my pin. So um, I have 24 caskets. You can see right there. So three of them I could not actually do. Now, of course, we did lose the challenge. So we have 3.37 million to give away from the Elder Chaos Druids. Anytime it's below 10 million in value, I give away everything. But on top of that, we are going to give away everything from the 24 hard clue scrolls we're going to open right now. And just so you guys know, I have done 220 hard clue scrolls and 68 out of 134 collection logs obtained. And within this, look at this. A long time ago, I actually got this. Third Age Kite Shield. 
If I can get any of the third age items, I mean, uh, there is technically a chance in 24 of them. And the 24 is not too many of them, so I'm just going to open them all on video and comment while doing it. So let's go ahead and see what we're going to get from these clue skulls. Let's go ahead and open them right away. 28k, it's not looking good for making a lot of money right now. 163k, no collection log items so far. I don't think even I will bank. I will just keep going. All right, Samurai Kai Shield, that is the first collection log item. So far overall, ooh, 141k. We have made 932k from Hard Clue Scrolls. So not too much so far. We have not actually passed the Elder Chaos Druids with this. Purple Sweets are very nice. Ancient Coif, the last 10. Let's go pretty quick here. Dark Cavalier. Ooh, a Master Clue Scroll. Uh, I'm going to do that, but I'm not going to uh, do it between the clue scrolls. I'm probably only going to get one anyways. Last five. Ooh, chaps are very good. Also a collection log slot for those. We're going to get a very large pile of loot here, so I will have to be quick with looting afterwards. And the last one is going to be pretty mediocre. We actually... Oh my god, I need to show you guys this. Look on the screen right now. The hard clue scrolls and the elder chaos druids made exactly the same amount of money. That is funny. You know, that did not take long at all. Only one step done and I now have to smith a runite helmet from Sherlock. That requires 88 smithing or you can of course boost from 83 with stews. But I'm actually going to keep this in my bank because I have been thinking about maybe making a couple of progress videos now and then on this account to try to work on things I need anyways for on drop rate videos. And that is why I haven't done any of the quests yet that kind of blocked me from doing the hard clue scrolls because I do want to make like a one-off video doing a bunch of them. If you guys are interested, let me know. But for now, that is all she wrote. Now listen, I don't like giving away white cash tags. I mean, 6 million, 7 million would be a decent amount of money, but it doesn't really look as good as a green cash tag. So you know what? I'm just going to round it up, I guess. To 10 million, that is the giveaway. Of course, the way you win this is on the screen right now. And good luck to all of you who want to participate. The giveaway is always rolled 48 hours after the video is posted. And after that, I will try to contact you through Discord, in-game, whatever is possible. If you do not respond within 48 hours, well, then I have to re-roll and give it to someone else. So make sure you join the Discord so I can actually contact you the easiest way possible. That was a very Swedish way of saying join. But that is it for this video, I hope you all enjoyed it, and the next one has some great potential, I will not spoil it, but it's a pretty good one. Hope to see you there, until next time guys, take care.